Moving on, the news, the House of Representatives has uh, shuttered uh, the uh, Federal Competition and Nazi Consumer Protection Commission for its uh, inability to uh, protect the rights of Nigerians about the recent hike in price of cement. The Joint Committee of Solid Minerals, Industry, Commerce and also Special Duties expressed their displeasure today in Abuja when the agency appeared before it uh, during a public hearing of the committees uh, to investigate the arbitrary uh, increase in the price of cement by manufacturers of cement in Nigeria. The chairman of the committee, Honorable Gaza Befi, uh, while describing uh, as uh, a mother that has uh, forgotten a child, said that uh, the increase in the price of cement as a direct bearing with the increase of building collapses experienced in the country. FCCP can be likened, I don't mean to sound hard, but to a mother that has forgotten her children. It costs, if anybody, at about the time that we're having hike in cement prices, what FCCP came out on the news for was closing Sahad for different prices of life. I couldn't reconcile the two things. Yes, I appreciate you're doing your job, but there are things you heard it from the president of Corinth. Cost of cement, building materials, is a direct relationship with building collapse. Cost of cement is in direct relationship to increase in tenancy rates. For heaven's sake, anything that has to do with livelihood should be treated as an emergency. Earlier, the Director of Surveillance and Investigations of the FCCPC, uh, Baladale Adeyinka, and the, the uh, uh, Chairman of Council for the Regulation of My Engineering in Nigeria, Engineer Sadiq Abubake, in the submission, says the increase in price of cement is not as a result of dollar increase, but due to epileptic power supply and the high cost of diesel, as well as operational cost. Major raw materials are locally, you know, um, annexed and sourced for. So the fluctuation in dollar was not an issue. And that was why we were very curious to discover that the price seemed to have been jumping with the market prices, uh, with the um, rising cost of um, dollar. That was put aside. We were able to say, no, that's not the cost. And the inquiry went further to start looking at the pricing methodology and the cost structure of um, cement products in the marketplace. And it was gratifying to even see that the, the uh, direction of this committee is also towards that, based on your directives to Koren that we were witnessing this morning. Lowering the standards of our infrastructure. All, all agree with us that uh, that is uh, one of the key culprits of building collapse. So I, I am trying to, 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 to connect the hike of price in cement with the standardization of our building and with the direct connection of building collapse. Clearly there is a direct connection with, with that. And, and I think this is something we must interrogate. There are many challenges uh, along the value chain of cement and, of course, of building materials. But I believe that um, these following items, four of them, are the quagmire of the cement manufacturers. And I want us to also take cognizance of them. The epileptic and no electric, electric power supply I mean, the high cost of diesel and the high operational costs are uh, one key issue that uh, the cement manufacturers are facing. And unless and until they have a solution to this, uh, then this subject we are discussing may be a mirage. The head of Building Research Nigeria Building and Road Research Institute, Jabir Sule, says as a way of cushioning the effect of high cost of cement in the country, has decided to introduce uh, Pastelani as an alternative to cement. As an apart, the deputy controller 
to raise trade. And Mrs. CK Nguyen of the Niger Customs Service informed the committee that the customs has no records of limestone exportation into the country. One Nigerian building our own research have gone to an extent that we produce what we call pozzolana. This pozzolana is what actually the neighboring produce. We produce it using clay. And this percentage we have to use clay and pancanias to produce a pozzolana. This pozzolana will help you, instead of using the cement 100%, it gives you a room where at least a certain percentage of the cement, because if the pozzolana we're talking about, we cannot use ordinarily as a cement, but a certain percentage of that pozzolana we cement will give you actually what you want. And anything you are going to do as a structural engineer, it depends on actually what you want to do. Then we'll give you a percentage that, okay, well, if you're using a percentage of porcelana, this is what you're going to use. It's, an, it's, a, it's a kind of a substitute to cement. You do not have any export quantities at all. We don't have records of exportation of limestone. We don't. Okay. Fantastic. So everything produced Sorry. is consumed in house. Sorry. Yes. They, they, the, the, the cement manufacturers in Nigeria have to import to augment what they source locally. What, what we even have locally is not enough. So they have to even import more to augment what they have, what they can source locally. Uh, the question is, do you have geologists, professional geologists in your employ? We have geologists. They might not be working as geologists in the some service because we have what we call general duty officers and professionals. But we have officers that are, we call them, um, the, we have a customs lab where they, 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 they check chemicals and all that. And at this export processing terminals, we have other agencies like NAVDAC who have the technical know-how to know these um, raw materials. We have SON, we have NDLEA, and the rest of them. So these agencies, in conjunction with Nigeria Customs Service officers, conduct examinations at these export terminals before these containers are exported. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.